Hi, Simon here from My Guitar Lessons with uh, Hamilton Loomis. Uh, Hamilton, we talked a bit about your guitar, but what about your amps? What are you using at the moment? I, uh, my favorite amp uh, back home in the States is uh, an old uh, Marshall JCM 800 combo, 212 combo uh, from 84. Um, and it's, it's, it's just, it's still, it has that Marshall bite to it, but it's, but it's smooth as well. And it, it totally facilitates, um, I, I, you know, I go back and forth from, from humbucker single coil all the time. And it's, it's never muddy in humbucker mode and it's not too bright or brittle with single coils. It's just like the perfect blend, but it still has that, that you know, Marshall bite to it. So it's, it's warm yet bitey. Like it, I just, I can't describe it. It's just my favorite amp. Is it the reverb model of it? Or? No, it's not. It's just no reverb. It's just, it's just a one trick pony. Gain volume, bass mid, treble presence. Crank it. And, and they just stay, they all stay at 12 o'clock, you know. And uh, yeah, it's EL thirty fours in the back. Uh -huh. Yeah, it originally came with sixty five fifty. Yeah, but when I when I got it uh, from a, from another, I, I bought it from another uh, guitarist. Um, but he was a real young guy, and uh, and he was complaining that it didn't sound very good. And I went back and looked at the tubes in it, and they were opaque. Oh, I mean, they probably were the original tubes. And I'm like, well, no wonder there's no there's no volume. No wonder it sounds bad. So I had my guy spec it out, and he he re recommended that I convert it to EL34s because they're more common, they're less expensive, and he said it wouldn't really change the tone, but I didn't know what the tone sounded like in the first place. Uh, but when I got it back from him, it just was perfect, and I just love it. it. They're fantastic. And, and what's it loaded with? Uh, a couple of, uh, actually, uh, ironically, I have an Eminence endorsement, okay. but I have kept the original Celestian um, 15 ohm, which is weird. Um, silver Celestian speakers in I believe they're the original ones. They've never blown or anything. Yeah. Could be worth a fortune to keep up with them. So. Well, it's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs>